What is going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to easily remove the copper from this fan motor that came out of an HVAC condenser. The first thing I'm going to do is remove these four bolts that go through the entire motor and that should free up the back and the front to allow me to get to the copper. For the back side, I'm going to be using a seven millimeter socket to be removing that. And on the other end, I'm going to use a quarter inch open end wrench. You can see it comes out very easily. One down, three to go. Now with the four bolts removed, all I will need to do is tap on this back and it should pop right off. Just like that, the back is easily removed. Now, to remove this from the shaft that has the fan, you need to do the same exact thing I just did to the back. You just tap on the front, and it should come loose and fall right out. There it is, and now the last thing we have to do to remove this copper from the base, is just cut this right down the side. I found that using a piece of wood to hold it down while I cut it is best. So now I'll just stand on the piece of wood while I cut it so it doesn't move around on me. Now that it's sliced in half, I can spread it apart and it should fall right out. Well, besides the fact that I have this grommet right here. There it is. Now we need to get the copper out of this. Let's head to the vise. Now I'm gonna take a Sawzall and cut right down the edge of this to free this copper from the center. Now, in order to get the copper out of this, I'm going to put a screwdriver in between the copper rings and hammer down with a hammer to try to pull it through, and then it should be free.
And just like that, the copper is now removed from the motor. So the next thing is to remove this wire here, which most of the time in these motors, it's actually not even copper, it's aluminum wire. So what you're gonna do is find it inside here and just cut it loose and I'll show you that in a second. And what I like to do is I like to burn all of this wire or the rope it is, it's actually like a, a wire rope. I like to burn all this off with a torch so I can get right down to the copper. Oh, and guys, if you're still here, make sure you come by tomorrow because I have a super cool video coming out tomorrow on my YouTube channel. It's going to be aluminum bronze. I'm making a skeleton knuckle duster, which is a form of brass knuckle, but it's only two fingers. So guys, the link will be right here. Um, so if you see this in the future, that's where you'll see the link. But guys, if you're seeing this right now, Make sure you come back tomorrow, subscribe, and check out that cool video. It's going to be aluminum bronze, which is a mixture of copper and aluminum. And when it's done, it looks like gold. All right, guys, back to doing this. I'm going to use this torch here and burn away all of this. Now I'm going to let this cool and then I'll put it on the scale to see how much copper we got from that motor. It's a little scale, but it'll fit. All right, guys, there it is. Oh, yep, there it is. I thought I forgot a piece. That's it. We have 28.65 ounces of copper from that electric motor. 28.65 ounces. That's a score, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. That, guys, is how you remove copper from an electric motor.